Hi guys, Narandil here. We've spent quite a lot of time looking at verbs, we've laid the foundations for the present, future, past perfect, past imperfect tenses, we've learned how to negate them. So today, to fill out our knowledge of other parts of speech, we're going to be looking at noun declensions. There are five main patterns that nouns can fall into, and today we're going to be looking at the first and second declension patterns. So, let's get into it. If you look up the citation form for a noun in a Nagere dictionary, you will see this. We're familiar already with the part of speech, the inflection pattern and the translation, which are given for verbs. These are likewise given for nouns. The only changes are that the first and second entries in the dictionary form don't refer to tenses because nouns don't inflect for tense or person. Instead, they inflect for case and number. So the forms given here are the nominative singular and the nominative plural. Why are these the forms that are given? Koge and koge look pretty similar to each other. This isn't always the case. Let's take the noun laro, coward, which has the nominative plural lanatoe. We need the nominative singular and the nominative plural because often the nominative plural preserves what's called the oblique stem. So the stem is the form that is used for the majority of inflections for the noun. The nominative singular is actually the exception. We'll see here as well that the inflection pattern for koge is 1a, it belongs to the first declension, and laro belongs to the second declension. Let's start with the first declension. There are two numbers which nouns inflect for, singular and plural and six cases. The nominative, which you use when the noun is the subject of the sentence, the vocative, when you're calling after the noun, the accusative, which is used for the direct object, the genitive, which is used when that noun is in possession of something else, the dative, which is used for the indirect object, the person or thing I am giving something else to, and the instrumental, which is used for the means by which I accomplish an action. So we see here that if we go through the singular, we have koge for the nominative, koge for the vocative, kogar, accusative, kogao, genitive, kogave, dative, kogave, instrumental. The plural has a long a in all of the inflections, so koge, friends, koge, o friends, koge, I see the friends, koge, ko, of the friends, koge, ve, to the friends, koge, ve, using the friends. That's it for the first declension, let's move on to the second. For the second declension, vero, meaning fool, with the nominative plural veroe, we have in the singular the nominative vero, vocative veroe, accusative vero, genitive veruo, dative verove, instrumental verove, and in the plural we have the nominative veroe, vocative veroe, accusative veroor, genitive veroco, dative verove, instrumental verove. In the plural, most of the forms other than the nominative and vocative have a long O, so that's how you can easily recognize them. Let's move on to a discussion about stems. So if we look at uote, person, which has the nominative plural upate and belongs to the first declension, when we decline the noun, the nominative singular is uate, but notice what happens to the vocative, upate, accusative upatar, genitive upatao, dative upatave, instrumental upatave. You see here that the stem that's being used is upat, which you get from the nominative plural, upate. The nominative singular is actually the exception. The rest of the forms use the stem upat. Let's look at an example within the second declension as well. From the citation page, we have laro, lanatwe, coward, which has the nominative singular laro, vocative lanatwe, Accusative lanator, genitive lanatuo, dative lanatove, instrumental lanatuve. Now for the plurals, nominative lanatue, vocative lanatue, accusative lanator, genitive lanatoco, dative lanatove, instrumental lanatove. And that's it for this lesson. In the next video, we're going to be looking at the third and fourth declensions. See you then.